Hello and welcome to Q&A special number 2 for the 1000 subscriber milestone. Woo, okay, yeah, here we go. So, you all asked some lovely questions, thank you very much for that. Um, got quite a few questions. I'll try not to drag it, drag it out too long. I think the last time I did this, it did drag out for a bit too long, probably. Um, but we did get quite a few questions, so... Let's not waste any time, let's get straight down into the nitty gritty. I don't know what's in the background, um, footage wise, right now. I have yet to decide, but hopefully it's something good, I'm not sure. So, let's go. Um, I'm going to skip, if you said thank you, if you, if you just said thank you for 1000 subscribers, or whatever, I am going to skip you, but but I'll come back to you, and you know, thanks for doing that, thanks for congratulating me. So, the first question was... Uh, from TNT is cool 54 TNT is cool um, Why did you start YouTube? Now I think I've had this question before I can't remember Pro I, I probably have actually because I remember talking about this before But this is what I mean by new subscribers um, You might have to Tell some stuff again, so I will that's fine. Um, why did I start YouTube? Well, about two years ago, about December of 2010, it was a time when I wanted, it was a time, it was a time when I wanted to do something online, uh, but I wasn't sure what. So I had a few ideas, I, I thought maybe I could do a blog, or even a vlog, um, like a video series, but I wasn't really quite sure. Um, then about a month went past into January am I telling the story wrong? I might be telling the story wrong because I'm sure I ordered a Dazzle in December ok yeah, I, I'm completely wrong basically it wasn't December maybe November then maybe November I thought about that kind of stuff and I decided on Let's Plays because I I'd recently watched Slim Kirby's Let's Play of The Simpsons Hit and Run which really kind of grabbed me um, and I, I watched that whole Let's Play in, in probably about two days, like in two long, really long sittings, one video after the, each other. And I just couldn't get enough of it. I don't know whether it was because of the game, or because of him and the Let's Playing, or, or both probably, but it just really made me like the idea of doing videos like that. Combine that with the fact that a couple of weeks after I watched his videos, me and a friend did a little marathon session of The Simpsons game, um, and after we finished that little marathon session, I thought that would have been really cool to record uh, uh, and make videos of. Uh, just by myself, though, not with him, not with my friend. He he's all right, but no. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those two things: watching Slim Kirby, playing the Simpsons game in one sitting, and kind of realizing that it would be it would be fun to to record that that stuff made me want to do YouTube. And I'll combine that with the fact I wanted to do something on the internet. I just wasn't sure what. So that's why I, I ordered the Dazzle in December, I think, something sometime around then. It's probably still on my um, Amazon order history. I could probably find out the exact date, but I can't be bothered. So yes, that's why. Thank you very much for the question. I think there are a couple more questions like that later on, but I think they differ slightly, hopefully. So we'll see. Question number two is from Scooty Flea 17 and he says my question is if you had to pick any four digit number that is significant to you what would that number be oh well uh, clearly the four digit number would probably be wait a minute I see what you're doing here Scooty Flea 17 um, the answer is zero 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 there you go uh, the next question <laughs> thank you for the question <laughs> Next question is from Mr. Scogsmurf. He's got three questions. Couldn't get enough. Thank you for the three questions. They are... Number one, how old are you? Quite a simple question. I can answer this one. I think. I'm 20 years old. There you go. Question two, do you have a work or do you go in school? If so, what? Um... I'm greedy. I have both, actually. I, I work a job and I go to school, kind of. Um, 
well, university. Uh, the job is I work in a craft store in the UK. I don't know what, uh, anyone in the UK, do the hobby craft stores, you know, they sell they sell things that, you know, pom-poms and foam and knitting stuff. Um, so I get lots of old ladies come up to me say, have you got knitting needles? I go, yeah, they're over there, thanks. Um, look, believe me, so many old people in that shop. It's kind of scary. Um, and do I go to school? Yes. Uh, I go to university, I'm studying a course called Digital Arts, which is basically um, web design, programming, graphic design, 3D modelling, stuff like that. The reason why I chose that is, it, it, yeah, this is me going into that whole my life stuff that I mentioned about uh, in the asking questions bit video before. The reason why I chose that course, if any of you are so decided in wanting to know, um, I've always liked art. I've always really, I've always been quite good at art, and I've really liked it. But after doing my A levels. My art teacher, quite smartly, very smartly, actually said, "Art, doing an art course, not the best of ideas because art is very, very, very tricky to get into. Very narrow doorway to get into. So you could just leave university with a nice fancy art degree and nothing to use it on. So what I did instead was I chose a course which has art themes in it, you know, web design, graphic design, you still draw and you still use a, that creative half of your brain, but it's definitely more focused and probably more employable, that horrible word that everyone is hearing about now. Okay, yep, I um, just had to take a quick drink there, so if there's a weird cut, that's why. Um, so yeah, that that's why I chose that, and that's what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just coming close to the end of the first year now. That's gone remarkably quickly and scarily quickly. So, thank you for that. And question three by Mr. Skog Smurf is, do you enjoy your subscribers and your YouTube life? No, I hate my subscribers. You all suck. Go away. <laughs> no. I do. I do enjoy all my subscribers. Um, and the reason why I enjoy my subscribers is because None of you are, are the people that I see on other people's videos. As in, amazingly stupid. None. I'm, I'm saying none of you. All right, don't don't take, <laughs> don't mishear me. I'm not calling you all stupid. I'm saying none of you are like that. None of you are amazingly are scarily dumb, and the typical YouTube schlock that you get in comments. Most of you are very polite and smart and funny and you leave nice comments so yes I do like my subscribers very much so and do I enjoy my YouTube life yes yeah definitely um, I mean I said before uh, uh, some video oh probably two year anniversary I said that I, I do miss doing this when I don't do it I, I miss making videos so that's probably a testament to that I do oh no monitor don't turn off oh. I need to read you. There we go. Um, as a testament to, to me enjoying it, is that I really do miss it when I don't make videos. And I'm sure other Let's Players find that as well. It, it just becomes part of a routine. And when you don't do it, it, it just feels weird. It's like, hmm, I haven't spoken into a microphone in over three or four days. Something's wrong. <laughs> Which sounds really weird. So, yes, thank you for those questions, Mr. Scrog Smurf. On to, uh, who's next? Sai Tash the Gamer. And he asks, or she, I'm not sure. Um, there are two questions. Number one, what are the essays for? Aha, uh -huh. in the last um, video I said that I should really be writing some essays instead of recording that video. The essays were for the university course that I've just mentioned about. It was, uh, what was the title? It was, I can't remember the title, I only did it two days ago, so I should really know. It was about Renaissance art, and the printing press, and visual communication. 
fun stuff. Actually, no, Renaissance art is quite interesting. I did find that quite fun. Um, bit of bit of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo and all that stuff. Next question. Thank you for the question. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. There's another part, isn't there? I just said that there are two parts to that. The second question from Sightest the Gamer is: Let me scroll across. Is there something you wish you would have done differently when you first started LPing? Now, I thought about this question before when I first saw it. Good question. Really good question. Um, and I thought, would, would I have, should I have done different games? Should I have waited longer before I actually made videos to get better at it before I started? Should I have made test videos? In fact, I did. I did make test videos, so I, I can't call myself out on that because I did. But there is something. I did think of something. Um, and it's more on a technical aspect. Wait a minute, where's my other Word document? I've got things... I, I wrote down a little answer so I didn't stray too much. Here we go. Learn more about making videos. I didn't really know much on the technical side of things when I first started LPing, and that... I think that hindered me quite a bit because my videos looked really, really crap. Or, if they didn't look really, really crap, it's, they, they took forever to make. Like, um, for example... Something stupid like the first two thirds of the Simpsons game Let's Play videos are in HD. They're in 720p. They're not. They're not 720 pixels. The PS2 does not have HD. What the hell was? I must have thought that making it that changing the setting to 720p in the rendering options magically added some pixels to this game and made it look better. No. No, you're stuck with what you get from the PS2. It was 480 pixels. So all the time I wasted rendering and all the, the time I wasted uploading those bigger file sizes was really, really stupid. And I wish I had learned about how recording videos works and how you can't just make things magically better. Which is really obvious now looking back, but when I first started I didn't know that stuff. So yeah, that's definitely something I wish I would have done differently learn more, prepare more for rendering and uploading and bit rates, all those horrible terms so thank you for that Sidash the Gamer next question from Leg667 is what is your proudest achievement in video games now again I, I, I did think about this question before because that is a, it's a good question couldn't immediately think of an answer and to be honest I, I still can't think of a good answer the only one I could come up with is, and it's so sad, it really is so sad, is completing The Simpsons Hit and Run 100%. Because that was, I could get all symbolic and metaphorical here, but that, completing that 100%, it, it came full circle with, with how I just couldn't complete that when I was younger, and how now I can. And you could tell I did English literature, clearly. Because I could probably, <laughs> I could talk crap about anything for as long as necessary. But really, I, I just, I thought that was pretty cool that I, that I managed to 100% a game that I found so annoyingly stupid when I was younger. I was like, no, I'll come back to it and I, and I will beat you properly. It's a very nice um, closure there, I guess. Closure, yeah. As for actual achievements, because that's not really an achievement, I... I don't know, I really, this is something I actually want to bring up, and it's about video games. I realised the other day, I'm, I'm not really a gamer anymore, I don't play games. And that really made me sad, because I, I asked a question in, um, in a Let's Play, uh, Honest Tom 23 is his name, um, I have mentioned him a few times, a few times now, but in past videos and actually he's just I've just scrolled up he has asked a question in this one so there we go thank you um, in his Q&A video he did a, um, a couple of weeks ago well, I, I asked him a question and the question I asked him was um, how long do you see yourself playing video games do you think you ever grow out of it and I suddenly turned that question on myself the other day and I think that's kinda happened and I don't want it to happen. I just I don't play video games anymore. I read about video games. I watch video game videos, but I don't play them anymore. 
I mean, obviously I play them to do Let's Plays, but apart from that, I haven't played any of the big name games of the past five years. I haven't played Mass Effect, I haven't played Assassin's Creed, I haven't played Dead Space, I haven't played any of the Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2, I haven't played any new Halos. I just, I haven't touched all these massive franchises that I would have in the past when I was younger. Um, and that's something I, I do plan to rectify very soon, actually. I was looking on Steam for some good, cheap cheap sales of games that I could play. Uh, Far Cry was another one that I possibly wanted to try. And I thought that was just... I, I, I looked, I turned that question on myself about not playing games, and I got sad because I thought, yeah, actually that's kind of happened. I don't, I don't play games much anymore. And that's not to say I don't enjoy them, I just I don't give any the chance. So I need to fix that. And I, I I could possibly even bring in the Let's Play channel, the YouTube, with that. Maybe I could, I don't know, not make a Let's Play out of them, but make a video out of some of the new games I'm playing and experiencing for the first time. I don't know. There's maybe potential in that. I'll have to think about it. But yeah, just that little tangent there. That's probably why I haven't got a proudest achievement. It's because I don't play games anymore. Probably the last game I played properly was um, Red Dead Redemption that I truly enjoyed as a game and that's what that's at least three years old now three four years old so not good not good but anyway thank you for the question leg six six seven next one is from it's bacon for lunch he's asked two questions first one is if you were to describe the color red in a lot of detail, how would you? Red. Red is a a very passionate colour. Dangerous colour. Uh, uh, red is... His second question is, do you like space? I do like space. I think there was a phase when I was younger where I want I I was obsessed with like I wanted to get a, a telescope and I wanted to see all the meteorites or whatever not meteorites the the planets when they came into view. Um, but I think everyone has that when they were younger, especially young boys. They want to see all the cool space stuff and all the rocks and meteorites. But also, I think from reading stuff like. I used to read, the hor if anyone knows about the horrible science books, they were kind of like the horrible history books, but they were for science, obviously. That kind of got me interested in a lot of space stuff as well. So yeah, yeah, I I liked space more when I was younger, but I still like space. You know, I, I was very much uh, reading about the, the Mars rover curiosity thing when that happened. Pretty cool stuff. So thank you for those questions, it's bacon for lunch. Enjoy the bacon. The next question or questions is from Tricky Zombie Killers. This is your first video I've seen, so there. Uh, thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Actually, no, that's not a, that's not a great question, uh, great video to see first of mine, really. But there you go. Question one: Do you do n Minecraft normal survival or SMP, not FTB? Do I do Minecraft normal, like vanilla? Do you mean vanilla? And yeah, yeah, okay. Do I do vanilla Minecraft or uh, survival multiplayer? Is that? Yes, I think it is. No, I don't. I mean, I do. I do. I used to play vanilla Minecraft, but I just got bored of it. I think. I think after playing FTB, I will want to go back into normal Minecraft, but for the moment, I'm sticking to FTB, making videos of that. There is something very innocent and, and quaint about vanilla Minecraft now that I do kind of want to go back to, but not yet. I think once the urge has got a bit stronger to go back and play, I will. But it's okay for the minute. Question two. Will you ever make a server for subs? Minecraft server for subs? No, probably not. Too much hassle. I, I see all these horror stories about admins and griefers and annoying people on servers and I just I don't want to do that who wants to do there are so many servers to play on free servers to play on that I, I shouldn't 
the only the only aspect that would be good f if I made a, a server is because I would be able to play with you and obviously that's the main point but I, I just think it's too stressful and I wouldn't have the time so no don't think I will be making a server for subs but thank you for the questions next question questions is from Lewis Ball and he says do, 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 what made you want to become a let's player ah yes like I said at the beginning that's kind of it's kind of different now what was the first question now I can't remember why did I start and this one is what made you want to become a let's player okay they are pretty much the same uh, because I just wanted to try something different I wanted to try and make videos um, I wanted to try and make a product like a finished product like a, a video that I could call my own and put it somewhere where people would watch it that's also a reason why and if not watch it just just me making it I liked oh man I just had like a coughing fit there something got caught in my throat I could have died <laughs> so there's another awkward cut there probably um what was I saying oh yeah as well as the stuff all the stuff I said in the first bit, first question all that kind of um, Slim Kirby, Simpsons Hit and Run, playing the Simpsons game, Marathon, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's another big point. I, I just wanted to make something of my to call my own. So that's why I made a video. Um, second question from Lewis Ball is, what are your favourite games? Okay, off the top of my head, off the top of my head, I would say GTA San Andreas. Faux show. Um, Red Dead Redemption. Time Splitters 3, Future Perfect. Time Splitters 2. The Simpsons Hit and Run. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Hmm. 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 I'm trying to think of older ones. Uh, Crash Team Racing. Crash Team Racing, yeah. There's one more I can think of. It's from like a PS1 game. What is it? Oh. Oh. No, that's all I can really remember at the time being. There's quite a few there though. They're, they're probably my favourite games. All from a while ago, so talking about not playing games now, that's why. Uh, I was gonna say Halo 3, but I don't think so. I only really enjoyed Halo 3 online with uh, and the whole with talking to my friends aspect. Do you know what they really need to bring back? Just talking about H Xbox and Halo and online and friends. They need to bring back I mean no no what I wouldn't be able to play it because none of my friends would be on there, but 1v100 on Xbox it was so good. I remember playing that with my friends a few years ago. That was fun. And it was free. But it was just fun. 1v100. Bring that back. I'd even pay for it, maybe. I wouldn't. Like I just said, I wouldn't be able to play it again. But I'm sure people would pay for it. Um, next question. What plans do you have for your future Let's Plays? Oh, I wrote this down somewhere, didn't I? Yes. Here we go. Well, something important to me is to is to not get too much Minecraft on my channel. My channel is not a Minecraft channel, it's a Let's Play, so I don't want to rely on Minecraft videos. And the reason why it's so easy is because there's so many things you can do in Minecraft. You could have a whole channel, people, people do have old channels just in Minecraft, because you can have Let's Plays and adventure maps and creative series and... S uh, multiplayer series, challenges, mod reviews. There are so many things you can do in Minecraft, but I don't want to do that. It's easy to fall into that of just making us like, oh, I'll just make another quick Minecraft video today. But no, I definitely want to go, but still go with um, other games, definitely. So that's part of the future of my Let's Plays, not just Minecraft. I mean, I was gonna, I was thinking of putting. Minecraft footage behind this video of me caving, but I don't think I'm going to do that either, um, because I just don't want to stick to Minecraft all the time. 
it just it's very easy easy thing to fall in the, into that and I didn't realize how how easy it was I was like oh I'll just stick some caving footage behind this I'm like, no wait a minute let's not do that no <laughs> um but apart from staying away from Minecraft as much is I want to go back into some older games I mean, the first the first few games I did on this let's play channel was the Simpsons game which wasn't really that old time split is three which was quite old now um, and Destroy Humans 2, which is also quite old. I want to go back into the PS2, PS1 era of gaming for for a bit at least. Because the last few games I've done have been on Xbox, I've realised. You've got Ratchet and Clank. Oh, actually, no, Ratchet and Clank doesn't count, really. That would be PS2. Okay, but James Bond, I mean. Um, Star Wars is on Xbox at the moment. What's the other one? Is there one more? There might not even be one more. I don't know, but I just feel like I've been on the Xbox too much. I want to go back into PS2. And really, I want to go back into the BS PS1. I want to do a game at some point that I played as when I was young. Um, so I'm going to have to do a good, a good think of that. PS1 games. Because that would be fun, I think. Yeah. So that will definitely be somewhere down the line, is older older games. Not as old as Beneath the Still Sky, we're not talking 1992 or whatever. Uh, we're just talking early 2000s maybe. So PS1 going into the PS2. Um, and that's that I think, really, just carry on doing it. That's my plans. Oh, and one of, obviously one of them is... Actually, no, that's a later, that's a later question, so we, I'll ask, wait a second to answer that one. Um, next question. Oh, yep, still from Lewis Ball is... What do you need to become a Let's Play person? This depends. There are, there are two answers I could give here. If you just want to make videos for yourself, you don't care what happens to them, then you don't really need anything. You can just do it. You don't really need to... Well, it, it it all depends on you if you're doing that. You don't really need to care how it looks, or how it sounds, or how you sound if you're making it for yourself. If you're making it to go on YouTube to, to for other people to see, and you want other people to see it, then you need some um, characteristics, such as these are the ones I, I thought of. You need patience. Let's plays are saturated to hell on YouTube now like Minecraft videos so you need patience if you want to get anywhere with Let's Plays now because there are just so many um, you need you need to be realistic as well you need to you need to kind of step back and think to yourself would people actually watch this you can't just think Oh, this is great. I made it. This is great. You can't be that selfish. You have to think. You have to judge critically. What is good about this? What's bad? Are people really going to watch this video, which is of a camcorder in front of my TV? Probably not. Are people going to watch a video where I'm really quiet and say one or two words throughout the whole video? Probably not. Am I going to? Are people going to watch a video? Where it's really blurry, probably not. So you just gotta, you gotta hone all these little things, and improve them, and be realistic about it. Uh, and finally, what else did I put? What's the third thing? Confidence. You gotta have confidence to be a let's player, um, which doesn't matter as much because you can start without confidence and you'll you'll grow it. So I mean that's what I did anyway. You you grow confidence as you do it. So that one's not as important, but later down the line I think it does matter. But then the more videos you make, the more confident you get automatically. That's the one thing that's good about it. It's just It just happens, really. Um, so thank you for those questions, Lewis Ball. The next question... Oh, no, wait a minute, I'm scrolling the wrong thing. There we go. It's from Honest Tom 23 There you go. And he says... says congrats on the 1,000 subs, thank you. He says... Oh, he talks about the whole telling my life stuff. Yeah, I'll talk about that at the end. Um, this question is, who is your favourite sub-character 
of the Simpsons, as in anyone outside of the Simpsons family? Probably, I like the Simpsons question. I do like that. Um, probably Mr. Burns. I do love Mr. Burns. I think before the Simpsons turned to crap, I think Mr. Burns was one of its strongest characters because he was he was evil. He was evil. I mean, Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1 and 2 are some of the best episodes of The Simpsons. They're, the, they're some of the smartest episodes but and, and, and funniest and funniest and Mr. Burns is so, so good in them. Uh, taking candy from a baby and whatnot. Um, and I think Harry Shearer does a great or should I say did a great uh, voice for him as well. Everything about Mr. Burns worked when The Simpsons started because he was this evil character which could fire Homer and ruin their lives. And you had Smithers as well. And this, the, the, the partnership between Smithers and Mr. Burns is really funny. Um, but I think a close second would be Mo. <laughs> I like Mo. People in my school, my old school, so kindly said I look like Mo, who is known as the ugliest character on The Simpsons. So I thanked them for that <laughs> and moved on. So yeah, Mr. Burns is my favourite sub character. Uh, thank you for the question, Tom. Next question. Which one is it? From Shadow Shredder 47. And his question is How do you see yourself in one to three years? Ooh, okay, this is like a job interview. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Um, let's see. In terms of YouTube, I hope to still be doing it, really. But that's interesting thinking about about YouTube. I mean who who has who in the past or who since YouTube has started who has got amazingly big? Who has just stopped? Has anyone just stopped doing YouTube? Just just because they just stopped. I can't think of a reason why I stop apart from Oh I'm not saying I'm really big. I don't know how I formed that sentence, but it may have sounded like that. I'm not saying I'm really big. Um the only reason that I can think of stopping Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, oh yeah, it's on the brain, YouTube, is either I get bored of it, and I, I probably would just stop, because it, it that would affect the videos, um, or I just wouldn't have the time for it, I'd, I'd get so busy doing work or something, I just couldn't, I couldn't put enough time in it to make the videos I'd want to, that'd probably be the only reasons why. And even then, I'd probably still want to make... I could still probably make at least one video a week. And I'd still do that. I mean, obviously, that, that'd that suck for, in terms of channels. No one wants only one video a week. But if I if I had to do that, I would, just to continue. So, I, I'd still see myself doing YouTube in that time, I'd like to think. Unless YouTube... Actually, that's another uh, point you could make. Is YouTube still going to be as big as it is? You know, I mean, it's lasted for quite a while actually so it probably will be but that's the thing with the internet is you never know what's going to die and what's going to grow like Bebo Facebook MySpace it could be that there's this new um, video sharing website that comes up in the next year, two years, three years that just completely uh, kills YouTube you just don't know but yeah as long as YouTube's there I'll probably be, probably be making videos so um, in terms of life though, I think life's going to be pretty much the same for at least the next few years while I'm still doing my degree. I don't think it's going to change dramatically uh, after about three years, then it will change a bit because I'll be out into the, the big wide world as it were. So yeah, mm, it's going to be fun. So <laughs> yeah, for the time being, pretty much the same, you know, going to work, going to university, blah blah blah. Thank you for the question, though. Good question. Um, question, a kind of question from Zero Chance 009 is. Ah, oh, this was. Yes, this was the question I wanted to bring up. 
I was wondering when would you do Destroy All Humans 1? All I'll say for that is um, soon. Star Wars is still there, but once Star Wars is done, probably Destroy All Humans. I, mean, I wanted to keep it secret, but it's so obvious now. And loads of people want Destroy All Humans, so I may as well tell you it is coming. That was the game I bought. That is the game I'm playing at the moment as a pre playthrough. So there you go. Yes, that is definitely coming. Uh, we're getting to the last couple of questions now. I wonder how long we've been going for. Oh my god, that is it really 40 minutes? No one wants to watch a 40 minute video, I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay. From Gaming Guy 334 is his question is how long will you be doing games on YouTube? How many games will you do? Ah, I kind of maybe just answered that. Well, the first part anyway. How many how long will you you be doing YouTube for or how many games wait I can't even read what is the question how long will you be doing games on YouTube for the foreseeable future until I get bored until I, c I don't have enough time to at all make videos or until there's no YouTube in which case I'll jump with the bandwagon and move on to whatever's the new thing but yeah for a while I'm not going anywhere soon I enjoy it too much to go anywhere Um. And how many games will you do? I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, I've been going for two years and I've only done about... 10 games, maybe? Let's think about this, hang on. Simpsons game, Task Splitters, Destroy Humans, Simpsons Hit and Run, Ratchet and Clank, Beneath the Sky, Indiana Jones, James Bond, T Minecraft, Star Wars. I'm probably forgetting some, actually. No, I don't think I am. So yeah, about ten. So it's a few, but it takes time. So yeah, but how many games? I have no idea. Lots more, I hope. Uh, thank you for the question. Last question is from Stefano Pueds, and he says, "What made you come up with the idea of starting a YouTube channel?" Ah, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I've I have answered that about twice now. Uh, I probably should have tied those together. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, if there are any questions that come after making this video, I'll just answer them in the comments. But, because this video is so damn long, I'm going to try and wrap it up rather quickly. Uh, I'll just say, thanks for your feedback on the whole life telling stuff. Um, most of you seem to think it was a good idea if I at least do it li like a little bit. Not all the way, but 50-50 or just a little bit more because it does make um, make it a bit more personal so yeah sure I'll try and do that I can't promise anything because it's going to be weird to try and let that side out seeing as I kind of kept it locked up for so long but I'll try I mean Honest Tom did make a good point that he wants his videos to be timeless and they're not really timeless if you start talking about topical events which I definitely agree with I did think about that um, but we just we'll see how it goes really uh, and finally thank you for all your thank yous for 1000 subs I mean it's, it's now gone up to about I don't know it's, but it's gone up by a bit which is just crazy how fast that went up I do not understand it I think it's got something to do with once people go over a thousand it starts people see they have a thousand and they maybe start subscribing more I don't know how it works but it's really quite crazy and thank you for all your support that you gave and you give and I hope you will continue to give because you will because you're lovely people um, but yeah I really don't want to upload like an hour long video <laughs> it'll be like a podcast there you go the muckluck podcast um, but yeah that was a good q and I like that thank you for your questions um, should be a Star Wars coming out soon and then a Minecraft and and the 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 rotor will continue basically so thank you for watching and until next time goodbye <laughs>